How's it going guys? Um, trying something different today for the first time. I am recording uh, via OBS, uh, streaming I guess via OBS, and uh, trying to do some screen share stuff with you guys. So I'm hoping it is working. Let me know if you can see me and hear me in the chat. I would really appreciate it. I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I've sold here recently. Uh, but first, I want to say hey to everybody in the chat. Looks like Going on Grumpy was here first. How's it going, bud? Lauren Hot Chick is here. Up North Sales. Tam's Place. Keeping it real with the Millers. Steven Steph. Resale Killers. How's everybody doing today? Can you guys see me and hear me? Bargain Shopping's here. How you doing? Tame's Place says everything looks and sounds good. That's terrific. Thank you so much. Um, I want to give a quick shout out. <clears throat> Whitney and I had a um, housewarming party at our new house on Saturday and my Aunt Mel showed up and I guess she's been watching my videos and I haven't seen her in a long time. It's actually Whitney's Aunt Mel, but you know, I've adopted her as my Aunt Mel too. So Mel, thank you for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Uh, that's why I love making these is, you know, people like watching them and I'll keep making them. Got a bunch of people in the chat. Super Sunshine Thrifter, Treasure Hustlers, George Hughes. How you guys all doing? Julie Venerum. How are you guys doing today? All right, so got a handful of things I want to run through here and show you guys. First, I will start off with some things that I sold on my auction website. All right. So we sold this 1965 operation game and I don't know if you guys have seen this but the one they made back in the 60s actually had a doctor smoking a cigarette and there were ashes falling on the guy's face <laughs> it didn't sell for a whole lot it sold for three bucks I think they might sell for more on eBay I haven't really checked but every time I run across an operation game I always check to see if it's the one where the doctor's smoking a cigarette have you guys seen this before? Lighten the Wood Treasures Mike says, Hi John from Indiana. How you doing man? What part of Indiana are you from Mike? Barking Shopping said I had that one as a kid. That exact one. That's funny. Garage Flip says that doctor is hilarious. By the way, uh, Thank you so much, Lonnie. Uh, Garage Flips helped me out with this OBS software. I had no idea what I was doing, so he helped me figure this out and get it going. All right, next up, we've got some cameras that we sold. A lot of these were untested, and we figured we'd just kind of do a bundle deal, assuming that a reseller would pick them up and test them and make some money on them. I always liked, you know, that there's still some meat on the bone for somebody else, but yeah, there's the seven seven cameras so they got they got them for three dollars a piece which isn't a bad deal at all because there's some canyons in there there's some decent ones for sure Fran need more stuff says I had this game too <laughs> George Hughes says around sixty dollars for the sealed one I sold wow that's impressive yeah I'm sure being sealed added a ton of value Garage Flip says people had a sense of humor back then. Yeah, it's very true. I don't think <laughs> anybody would find that too funny nowadays. Okay, Mike says we well, are 45 miles west of Indianapolis. All right, so you're not too far. Biohazard Picker says just a heads up, your volume is really low. I appreciate that. Let me see if I can change it a little bit. Let me know if that's any better. My volume's a little bit louder now. I think I was it was defaulting to my laptop's microphone instead of my headset. Still learning how to use this OBS software. Deathpile says, do you ever buy your own auctions to flip? I never, ever do that. I don't bid on 
any of the auction stuff unless it's something that somebody brought in that I want for like my personal collection or like personal use or for us to have at the house. I never bid on anything to flip on my website. And there's been several items that I know have been worth a lot of money that it'll just sell for like two bucks or three bucks because, you know, the idea is for the bidders to win the items, not for me to win the items. So the way I see it is if somebody gets a really good deal and they make money, they're going to be happy and they're going to come back and keep bidding and buy other stuff too. Uh, Sam Byler says, do you ship or is this local only? Uh, we do ship, and we're getting ready to roll out two auctions per week, and we're going to separate it with stuff we can ship and stuff we can't ship. So it's going to be nice and easy for everybody to bid and know what they can and can't bid on. Biohazard Picker says, still low volume, even maxed out my volume. Hmm. Grashlip says, if you want, you can dial in a little amplification, amplification with the filter. Well, we'll keep going, man. I apologize about that. I'm still kind of learning the software and how to use it. All right, so on to the next one. This was in a video I recently did. Um, so my dad told me it was called a corn sheller, but then somebody else said it was called a corn shucker, so I'm not really sure exactly what the correct term is for it. Uh, but this thing was really neat. It's got a crank on the side, and I guess you just put corn down in here, crank it, and it shucks the corn. So pretty neat item. This is the stuff I love getting into the warehouse. Just cool, different, unique stuff. This Nintendo jacket. <clears throat> I also had this in a video here recently. Um, just a really cool item, you know, not something that we see every day. It was a small, which is unfortunate, so I'm sure it kind of limited the audience we were selling it to, but somebody might just want it hanging on a mannequin or, you know, put it on the wall or something just because it's, it's pretty neat. But yeah, it had Nintendo on the back too, so I just thought this thing was super cool. Garage Flip says, shucking is taking the skin off, right? Shelling is taking the kernels off the cob. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I've never done it, but that I think shucking is taking the skin off. I'm just not sure about the shelling, taking the kernels off. All right, Doris says yes, that that's the case. So I don't know if that took the skin off or the kernels off. I'm really not sure which that did. Probably the kernels, I guess. So we sold this heavy plaster head. This thing is crazy looking, and I think the timing was just perfect, and that's probably why it went for so much. Sold for 41 bucks. I'm sure that somebody's going to use it uh, for Halloween decorations and probably paint it and make it look really cool. Maybe put like some blood around the mouth or something, but I just thought this thing was really neat. Okay, Biohazard says um, he had Google Hangouts open, which cut the YouTube volume in half. All right, so... Glad to hear I wasn't totally screwing things up, man. Dor says, I am country, yes. <laughs> There's certainly nothing wrong with that. Tim's Place says, that's, that's creepy. Yeah, this head is really creepy, but super cool. Creepy cells sometimes. So somebody brought in this vintage laxative display case. Just really weird and really different, and that's what I love putting on the website. I never had something quite like this. I mean, I've had some metal advertising and things like that, and I told him I, th I thought it would do well just because it was unique and different. But, yeah, this thing even had four little packs of laxatives in here. I mean, I would not recommend taking them because I'm sure they're over 50 years old. It would probably poison you. But pretty cool, you know, if somebody's got a bunch of advertising and stuff on the wall, this would fit right in. Sometimes it's hard to put a value on stuff like this. You know, people will bring it in for me to sell, and I can't always go off eBay prices. <clears throat> but most people are cool throwing the dice and seeing what happens. And, you know, this was a great example. This over $42, so I think he's going to be really happy. Parkin Shopping says... 
Now I know what Steve does with his victims in concrete. You sell them. Yeah, we've got a deal worked out. He ships the heads from California to Ohio. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Crash Flip says $20 to try one CP. I won't live to collect on that bet, Lonnie, if I took one of those. All right, next up, 1993 Street Fighter II Rock'em Sock'em game. I played this game so much as a kid. Not the Rock'em Sock'em, but the, the Super Nintendo Street Fighter and loved it. And I didn't even know this thing existed. But really cool. Um, you know, we got a lot of guys a bit on the website that love the video game stuff. So this just fits right into that motif. Revolutionary XV says, I know you get sick, but do you think those laxatives will, will still work? Uh, <laughs> they'll probably work, and they'll do a bunch of other stuff to you, too. <laughs> yeah, I thought this thing was just super, super cool. I've not seen one. And I guess you've like kept score on the side. So it wasn't exactly like the regular Rock'em Sock'em. And Capcom actually made this, and they were they were the ones that made the game too. Sometimes you'll see like a, a separate company make different products or like um, whatever kind of merchandising stuff, but they, they made it themselves. Teresa Gross says, sorry, new here. Do you offer shipping options for those out-of-state residents? Yeah, I do. Uh, so right now the way we have it set up is if you come down on an item it'll say like shipping available yes or no um, this one we probably would have shipped though but we're getting ready to go to two auctions a week we're going to separate it uh, shipping items we can ship and items we can't ship so if you're out of state you can you know just bid on the things that we can ship that way you're not having to do it individually to make it a lot easier power reselling says hey hey guys I'm alive how you doing bud I haven't talked to you in a while. Keeping it real with Miller says, I have to go check and see if I want anything from the auction. Yeah, Maka, you've had, I think, two or three weeks in a row that you've won something. Okay, so this right here, uh, there was a wedding, um, or what was it, a um, wedding dress, uh, like a bridal shop. That, that closed down and the lady uh, got in touch with me and we, we pulled a bunch of stuff out of there and this this old bar was in there it had you know it was a little rough you know it was missing a handle um, needs a little bit of love but it was just really pretty really cool piece had a marble top to it a lot of detail and ended up bringing 70 bucks but I'm sure with a little bit of love this thing would look awesome All right, on to some eBay stuff. I found this vintage uh, Sony Sports Walkman, and Garage Phillips recently did a video on uh, testing these things, kind of what you want to look for. He pretty much ran the whole game out of this stuff, and I even learned a few things that I didn't know about him either. Uh, so I highly recommend checking out that video, but these old Walkman can bring some good money, and what's nice is you can always pick them up for cheap. I think I paid $2 for this one, and... I've noticed the sports ones tend to sell better. They usually bring a little bit more, more money than just the standard ones. And if you've got the headphones, that always helps it too. Revolutionary XV says, I will definitely be bidding on some stuff, assuming you will be shipping first class or priority if available, cheapest option. Yeah, absolutely. Always ship whatever the cheapest is to save you guys money. And I always combine shipping too. So if you buy like five or six things, I'll put it all in one box. Power reselling is asking, are you full-time reselling and reselling only? I tried to fit college, two jobs, and running a business into 24 hours. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm full-time. I run my auction business, my online auction website full-time, and then I do some extra eBay sales, too. Uh, Teresa, yeah, we do offer shipping uh, for out-of-state. Yeah, we definitely do. Treasure Hustler says, dang, you could have got a lot more. Are you 
Are you talking about the the Walkman? Wow, Death Pile says sold a white sport version today for forty. I don't think I've ever seen the white sport one. That must be a pretty rare one. When I sell on eBay, I, I typically try to go just a little bit less than everybody else, maybe 5%, 10%, just because I like to move stuff a little bit quicker, depending on what it is. You know, if it's if it's something pretty rare, I'll, I'll sit on it to get the money. But something like this, you know, I'd rather just take a, a dollar or two less and just get it moved. This Clarisonic, I, th I think I got either for free or I paid a dollar for it. Uh, really tiny, so it was easy to ship. Uh, worked great. I think it was, it's like a, um, you use it for your face. So it's got these like bristles and I think you put, you know, some kind of moisturizer or something on your face and turn these on and they vibrate. I don't know if it's supposed to be like for acne or what, but they're fairly popular. These stainless steel cups. I found these at a Meyer store. It's like a grocery store in Ohio. I think they're kind of all over the place, but they had these clearance down to like two bucks or something like that. It was really, really cheap. And there was five packs of them, so I've sold two of them already, and I, I guess I've still got three of them left. So not huge money, but you know, because I got free shipping too. But they're really light. So, they're not costing me a lot of money to ship. Power Reselling says the garage sales in the United States run all year. Yeah, uh, Bonnie's right. It does depend on what part of the country you are. So, in Ohio, at least where I am in Cincinnati, it's going to stop. Once it gets cold, I mean, typically it slows down around this time of year, but it's been so warm that they keep they keep having sales. Yeah, Death Pile says California, they, they go all year round. What about you, Corey? I know you're in the UK. Are there boot sales year-round? All right, I picked up this rechargeable battery pack for a dollar. Had the battery and the charger. Um, this is these are for RC cars, and you can find these pretty easily. I've seen a lot of these at sales and they're always cheap, like 50 cents or a buck or somebody put them in a free box. So keep your eye out for these. You can usually get 15, 20 bucks, something like that. And they're super easy to ship. Just throw them in a bubble mailer and you are good to go. Tam's Place says, do you still have the Black Coach purse from your haul this weekend? I do still have it. It was I was planning on putting it on the website for next week's auction, but if you're interested in it, let me know. I'm 95% sure it is authentic and is a genuine coach. Uh, but, you know, I can take some more pictures and something like that. And if you want to just kind of verify, I'm starting to learn more and more about purses. All right, this Apple TV I picked up for 15 bucks. Didn't get, didn't make a lot of money on this. Um, you know, after fees and everything, maybe like 12 bucks or something like that. But it was still, a, you know, halfway decent profit. It was easy to list. It sold almost immediately, and it was really easy to ship to. You know, threw some bubble wrap around all of it, threw it in a little six by six by six box, and sent it off. Okay, Tame's Place. Um, I think, please send more pics. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Um, I will message you on Facebook. I'm going to make a note of that now, otherwise I will forget. I can send you measurements, too. Wesley Whedon says, good to see you live. Thanks for coming. It's good to be live. It's always more fun talking to you guys and just uh, looking at my screen. <laughs> Biohazard Picker says, I just bought one of those for $20 to flip going to try for $45.50. Which generation is it? 
Um, I know the newer ones go for a lot more. I think they're already on their fifth generation, if I'm not mistaken. This was an older one. This is second generation, so it's right in that. I mean, I maybe could. I got 35 for it. You know, a few more bucks. If I wanted to hold out. I probably did underprice it since it sold so fast. All right, this board game I picked up for two dollars. It was sealed, um, so anytime I can see a sealed board game for a buck or two, I'll just pick it up. Um, Biohazard Picker says his was second generation, but it came in a fourth generation box, which threw me for a loop. I can understand that. So they probably got the new one and then put the old one in the new box. I see that all the time. I see it a lot of time with the routers. I'll see a router at ER sale and I'll see the box and it's like a, a new one. I'm like, oh, okay, we've got something good. And then I open it up and it's the old one. That's completely worthless. Going on, Grumpy says, you don't like talking to yourself. No, I do not like talking to myself. Not at all. So yeah, this game is kind of neat. Basically, it gives you different sayings uh, or quotes, things like that. So there's an old Egyptian saying, an egg cannot break, dot, dot, dot. And then it gives you the options on the other side. Cannot break a stone. All these just weird sayings and you've got to guess them and things like that. But it, it looked pretty neat. Hey, Thrifty Treasures is here. How you doing, Tanya? Power reselling is asking, could you make a business from buying things like headphones for six pounds a month on finance and then flipping them and investing that money into other stock to keep paying the finance coming out? I don't know, man. That sounds a little complicated. I mean, putting it in the stocks, you know, would be a little bit of a gamble. But based on what I've seen in your videos, it looks like you know what you're doing in the stock market. Light in the Woods Treasures, Mike says, I found a beer nerd game still sealed this weekend. Beer nerd. Beer nerd game. I'd like to see that. That sounds pretty cool. Alright, uh, I picked up this lotion. Um, I got a whole bunch of this stuff at one yard sale for really really cheap I think it was like it came out to be like a quarter a, a piece or something like that and I've had it listed for a long long time but finally sold some one guy bought eight of them and I had a price at 15 each but he offered me $80 for eight of them with free shipping and I, I jumped on it really quick I'll be perfectly honest, as far as shipping lotion goes, I don't think there's any regulations. I could be wrong, so I'm not an expert on shipping this stuff. Um, so please don't take it to the bank. Uh, but as far as I know, lotions don't have any restrictions. If anybody knows differently, please, please let me know in the chat. <laughs> I would definitely like to know. I'm always wanting to learn... Uh, how to ship things, you know, how to ship them the best way, what you can and can't do, things like that. Garage Flip says, lotion is good. Awesome. So this thing I bought, and I probably wouldn't have bought this uh, normally, because it's a Magnavox Walkman, um, and I don't think they're very sought after, but this thing was like mint. I don't think they ever used it. It had all the paperwork, it had the styrofoam, the box, the headphones, and you could just tell on the condition that, I mean, it was like perfect. And I picked it up for $2, and I figured, what the heck, you know, we'll take a chance. I couldn't find any comps, so I thought, well, maybe this thing is a little bit rare. <clears throat> and I priced it at 70 or best offer. I think I started at 100 or best offer, and I've had this thing for two or three months. And somebody offered me 35, and I took it only because I really didn't I didn't have a whole lot of views on this thing because it was a magnet box. I think everybody's wanting the Sony's, so I said, "What the heck? You know, I've got two bucks in it. I'll I'll gladly take 35 bucks for it." 
Uh, Thrifty Treasure says, John, how are you screen sharing with you in the picture too? I'm using OBS for the very first time, Tanya. Lonnie helped me out getting it all figured out, so that's how I'm doing that. Pretty fancy. All right, I picked up this Ryobi charger and battery for five bucks. I knew it would bring pretty good money because I've had to buy one of these before and they're super expensive new. And I know, you know, guys like having extra chargers for their drills and weed eaters or whatever it is. And I think these Ryobis, a lot of them will work for multiple items. Like I've got a Ryobi blower and a weed eater and it uses the same battery. Tony is asking OBI desk. Uh, I think it's just called OBS. Ubi the hand with eyes. I don't know what that is. All right. Lastly, I sold this Canon Power Shot. I sold it as is for parts. It powered on but the screen was bad on it. I don't know what would make it cause that. I just don't know enough about cameras to know if that's an easy fix or not. But besides that, the thing was in, it was really clean. Had a charger with it and everything. Lonnie, you've got requests with OBS help it looks like. Keeping it real with the Miller says, can you do a video on how to use that program? Garage Flip says, hated that thing, Tanya. That show is horrible. Are you talking about Ubi the Hand with Eyes? What show was that? I'm trying to catch up with the chat here. Sam Piler says, I'm too chicken to show myself. <laughs> Garage Flip says, that camera is effed. Yeah. Maybe somebody that knows more than I... I do knows how to do something with it. I mean, it's a nice camera. It's 14 megapixels. I don't think it's very old. That is all I've got, guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. I got a few more minutes here before I gotta take off. Appreciate everybody being patient while I try out this new software. Trying to do, you know, change things up a little bit. Keep it fun. Keep it real with the Miller says kids show on Nickelodeon. So was a show called Ubi the Hand with Eyes? I'm gonna have to look this up now. Just a heads up for you guys too. Uh, a couple programming notes. Thursday, Lonnie and I are doing our show this week in reselling, and it is on my channel. It'll be Thursday at 3 o'clock Eastern, and the reseller six-pack will be Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, on Mothership Products. And make sure you check out his auction, too. I really hope everybody who's watching this has seen Dwayne's auction show, because there is nothing like it. I mean, it's a lot of fun, one of a kind, but if you have not seen it, make sure you go over to Mothership Products' channel. He does an auction every Saturday night. I think it starts at 8 o'clock Eastern. It's either 7 o'clock Eastern or 8 o'clock Eastern. I can't remember, but it is a lot of fun. Thrifty Treasure says I can sing it for you if you like. I would love to hear that, Tanya. Do it on your next video. Crush Lip says I can sing it too, unfortunately. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't be looking this show up. I'm guessing your guys' kids watch that show. Tam's Play says maybe one of these days I'll get the nerve to go live. I would say if you do, the first one you do, do it with somebody else just because it's a little less nerve wracking because you can kind of, um, they can help shoulder some of the burden. I think my hardest part is 
trying to fill the silence because you're almost sort of talking to yourself because it's you know one-way conversation except for people in the chat so it's a little a little different it takes some getting used to for sure but yeah i'd say do it with somebody else at first it's 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 a little easier crush flip says don't get me started on the mickey mouse clubhouse song yeah darcy's already watching that and singing it and all that stuff she loves that show when we were staying with my mom for a little while while our house was being built she would watch that with her every morning and now she's addicted to it. Tony says that show was popular when my 14 year old was little. Killer say talk to the person in your head. <laughs> Lonnie you're right I do need to enjoy the silence and own the quiet but I think I'll need some more practice with that. Well, guys, that's all I got. I appreciate you watching. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to stop this thing. That might be the tricky part. Paradigm Pickers here. Hey, Andy, how you doing? He says, hey, John, got to give that OBS a shot for doing live updates. Yeah, it's, um, I'll be honest, I was a little scared to do it just because I had opened the program before and it looked very intimidating. Uh, but I'm glad I did it because it really wasn't that bad and Lonnie helped me out with it. So definitely give it a shot. It's pretty fun. Uh, Treasure Hustler says, how many eBay, I'm guessing you mean eBay listings? How many eBay listings do I have? I don't have a lot. I think I've got maybe 65 or so right now. Lonnie says, hit stop streaming. Okay, I will do that. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. And have a great day. I'll see you next time.